Welcome back to the Reload Bench. This is an update on the Belleville C790 ST Desert Boots that I've been wearing. The wool sock test, durability test, I've been doing. And I'm going to be changing out the insoles in the boots yet again, trying a different style of the Energel insole. So to begin with, I've been wearing the boots with the wool socks from February 3rd to July 19th, about five days a week, every week. There might have been a few weeks where I didn't wear them five days because maybe I had some time off work and I was wearing my running shoes. And there were at least two days where I was wearing my Red Wing boots because of their uh, electrohazard rating. I needed to do that for work. Now I stopped wearing them on July 19th. Today is August 11th because my feet started to hurt. Two different days on that week, I worked late and my feet were starting to hurt. And I said, well, maybe the insoles are wearing out. So the Energel insoles that are in there, they're the uh, Cushion Max in insoles lasted about nine weeks now i might have been able to, to keep wearing them maybe if i just uh didn't work uh, any longer hours or anything like that but i decided nine weeks is good i'm gonna go ahead and change them out so i'll be putting in the inner gel green earth insoles at the end of this video as far as the different wool socks go whether they're the pacas or they're the darn tough or the American made alpaca, the Midway USA, or even the Browning sock that really isn't wool. It's just uh, there for, uh, well, you know, to muck things up a little bit. None of them have worn a hole in them. None of them have torn. None of them are uncomfortable to wear. They haven't developed any thin spots. The socks have all shrank just a little just a very little bit but otherwise they're all fine none of them are quitters they don't just fall down on me or anything else like that so uh this is one of those no news is good news six months of wearing these and uh only with these boots well for the most part with these boots a few times i've actually walked outside uh with my socks on yeah i'm that guy or i've actually uh slipped on my water shoes and uh, and still had the socks on a few times. Yeah, I'm that guy too. But for the most part, 99% of the time, it's only been with these boots. So I, I don't have anything negative to say about any of the socks so far. I'm waiting for one of them to wear out so I can do a video. Okay, so getting back to the boots, after a little bit more than six months of uh, weekly use, I mean, regular use in an industrial setting, and uh, I've, I've walked the dog a few times wearing these and things like that. I, I took these with me out to Thunder on the Prairie. It wasn't the only thing I wore, but, uh, I, you know, I've been trying to, to wear them in different environments and whatnot. You can see they're kind of dirty. I've, I've stained them a little bit with uh, some hydraulic oil and, and some other things like that and scuffed up the sides here. But the soles have got plenty of tread. There's just a little bit of wear on the heel. See this the left boot's filthier than the right boot, but there's there's no separation between the the leather of the boot and the heel. The laces are good. I mean, they're all they're in good shape. There's a little bit more wear here on the left boot than on the right boot on the heel, but I suppose that's just my walking style or something. Otherwise, though, they're they're doing great. I've been wearing my Red Wing boots for about three weeks now because I've been wanting to shoot this video and just haven't made the time for it. So let's go ahead and take out the Cushion Max insoles. And uh, yeah, there's more foot fuzzies like in the last video. And you can see that the material that they've adhered to the blue foam of the insole has peeled up on this left insole. On the uh, bottom, uh, there's more mashed in foot fuzzies. but um, Otherwise, though, I don't really see any sort of uh, wear pattern to the uh, insoles other than just uh, here on the top. 
So let's uh, take a look at the right insole. Yeah, same thing, the, uh, the material they, they attach to the rubber, this, um, I don't know what this is, it's kind of smooth. Uh, it, maybe it's some sort of nylon or something like that, but it, it's, it's kind of smooth. It, it's just coming off. And uh, more foot fuzzies here. I think it's, uh, is that a blade of grass? <laughs> Who knows what I've, I've gotten in here, but uh, I really don't see any wear patterns. Nothing, nothing on this either. I just, uh, maybe they're just starting to wear out. So get rid of those. Now, let me get the green earth insoles. So these are made with some sort of soybean based product so that they're green. I'll do the little air quotes with my fingers, green. So I don't know if they're gonna be equivalent to the others that are made with more petroleum based products. They all cost the same. So it's got uh, the same kind of soft material on the top. This is a different color. This is a gray color, whereas the other is kind of a gold. On the bottom, it's tan, and where it's reinforced on the heel and uh, right about where the balls of the feet would be, it's in green. It's embossed Energel. So, yeah, that's uh, green and tan. So it's uh, environmentally friendly, right? Now, on Amazon, there is a question that um, uh, somebody was asking, how thick are they? So let me measure the toe. Uh, right near the toe. It's about a quarter inch thick near the toe. And at the heel, it's about three quarters of an inch thick at the heel. I don't know why that matters, but I will tell you this. They, they don't, they don't feel very thick. And when, so far with the two Energel insoles that I've tried out, when you first wear them, yeah, it doesn't feel like they've got a lot of support. And during the first week, uh, your feet might hurt a little bit, but after that, they seem to break in. So I'll go ahead and put these in. And I'll wear these at work tomorrow morning. So the next update video will either be me telling you how long the green insoles lasted before I started to notice that my feet were, were hurting, that I thought they were wearing out, and me trying to double up on the standard work insoles and see what that does. Or it'll be that something has happened with one of the socks. I am writing down every day I wear the socks, every day I wash the socks, and what sort of activity I did. At some point, I'll have to tally it all up when I come to the end of this experiment, this test. So until the next video, thanks for watching.